Hey everyone, how you doing? My name is James, and I just have a few items more to show you guys out of my collection. First, I wanted to show you technical difficulty. Anyway, first thing I wanted to show you is some handmade. Now this is wooden decoys that were actually carved. Now this particular one, you can see he has lead on his bottom and everything to make him float in the water up. And it has the, the little clasp, it's got a little hook for, uh, for a string so that it can be decoyed. So the birds see it. And this attracts them, and they think it's a safe surrounding, so they come in. Now, just because a decoy is a decoy, doesn't mean it's actually used. This piece here is really just phenomenally beautiful hand-carved bird. This is a special edition. It's a limited edition. It even has the, uh, the gold coin from the maker in it. So this type of decoy is actually classified these days as folk art, which we all enjoy a little piece of history. Folk art is a nice piece of history. All right. This is a beautiful little item here. Actually, what this is, is in a barber shop. It was handmade. It has the rod still broke from it, but they put what they called wild root oil in this <laughs> which is pretty much what we know as like Stalin gel today basically but back then it was wild root oil and this is just a it's so light the glass is so thin on this. It's just a little flower holder. You can see here again, you can see the open puntle from where it was blown and made. And the flowers that are on it are actually embossed on here. Were actually almost like solder, but used glass and made the stems and the flower leaves see the pink right there that's actually laid on there and so is all of the outer trim on the flowers now this is a rare, pretty rare item this is, this is a hard to find item in the U.S. there. Let's see if we can get you up. 1870. You can see it's heavy. And it is a brown, browning well in Wheaton, 1870. And actually, the bottle came from New Bedford, and it's all still intact. That's amazing. I mean, you're looking at this item's probably, gosh, got to be 150 years old, maybe. And then the barbershop item 
with the wild root oil that's got to be at least 102 years old anyway awesome glad to share have a great day and we shall see everyone around YouTube